In German we have a word which is Königsprinzip. It's something like the king's principle, the most important principle. So, what is the Königsprinzip of portfolio review? It's diversification versus the time it takes to diversify. And nothing else, really. There is something called modern portfolio theory. It was invented by Harry Markowitz and he even got a Nobel Prize for that. But then when Harry Markowitz had to invest his own money, he didn't use his own theory. So if he doesn't use it, you don't have to use it either. Some people try to use their portfolio review to time the market, to go into the market just when it goes up and then when it's at the top, they want to try to go out of the market again. It's called market timing. Don't try to do that. It just costs money. Not even the most renowned investor of our times, Warren Buffett, tries to do that. So leave your fingers away from it. What is diversification? You can diversify by geographic region or by industry. But that's actually not that clear. What is a region? Let's take Nestle, a Swiss company. But 98% of their revenue is from abroad. So is Nestle really Swiss? The same applies for Apple in the US. Apple is definitely a US company, but a lot of their revenues and even their costs are abroad. So not really pure US American. And when it comes to industries, it's also quite difficult. I'll give you an example. Take airlines and buses, an airline company and a bus company. They are certainly in the same industry, right? Transport. But when there is a pilot strike, people will actually take buses. So the buses will profit from the difficulties of the airlines. And the same is true when the oil price goes up. Then again, buses will profit because they use less oil than airlines. So it's quite difficult to define. Still, we have to diversify somehow. You have to decide how much money to put in what region and what industry. The easiest solution would be to put the same amount in each region and each industry. And the good news is, there's an economist at UBS, his name is Klaus Wellershoff, who was the chief economist at UBS. He published a book and he said that they tried really hard to find solutions that are better than just equal weight. And they didn't find any. As a matter of fact, there's a, an American company which made research over 100 years over all global markets. They found that the US market was the best performing market. But if you diversified your money just across all markets globally, you made the same amount. And why is that? Because countries like France and Germany, who had very difficult times during World War II and World War I, had then also a spectacular recovery and you could make a lot of money there. So the bottom line is, there are no rules. And you may dislike that. No rules, I'm lost, what should I do? But look at that positively. No rules means no economist knows it any better and you can't do much wrong. I would just say one thing. Make sure you're not concentrated in any particular industry or region and then you're fine. How many stocks should you have in your portfolio? Well, the more stocks, the more diversified you are. But you have to balance that against the time it takes to maintain your portfolio. Each stock, you know, sends you communication and you have to list each stock in your tax return statements. Now, economists have analyzed this in detail. They found out you should have at least 30 stocks to be diversified, better 40 or 50. Now that doesn't mean yet that you need 30, 40 or 50 stocks right away. You know, when you have an amount to invest, you start with one stock, but you don't invest the entire amount in that stock. You invest only two, three or 4%. And then over time, you build up a portfolio of maybe 30 or even 40 or 50 stocks. Many people do not have a large sum to invest at the beginning, and there it's even easier. I recommend to invest twice or four times a year. So you have an amount that you invest, that you save each year, and you invest that twice or four times a year. That means after one year, you have four stocks, 
After two years, you have eight stocks. After five years, you have 20 stocks, and you move into a direction of being very well diversified. Some people are worried that at the beginning, they're not yet diversified. But then you should remember that at the beginning, you have only invested a small amount of the entire amount you'll, you will invest in the future. So don't worry about that. The Koenig's Principe of Portfolio Review in summary. First, make sure you have enough stocks, at least 30, and not concentrated in any region or industry. If you buy large stocks, it's even better because large companies are already diversified in their activities. And finally, if you have small stocks, only small amounts in stock, stocks, get rid of them because they are not worth the time. Remember, portfolio review is only about diversification versus the time it takes to do it.